Hey everybody, it's Zebra Crafts and fall is in the air and Halloween's coming soon, so let's make some DIY Halloween lollipops. So to begin, I'm gonna be adding two cups of sugar to a pan on high heat, two thirds a cup of light corn syrup, which I got at the grocery store, and a fourth a cup of water. So then on high heat, I'm gonna mix that around until it reaches a boil, just like this. And once it does, you wanna wait until it reaches 154 degrees Celsius or 310 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I use the thermometer to measure how, what the temperature of my liquid was. And once it reached that temperature, I put it off my heat. And in the meantime, I prepared an ice bath. So I took a shallow dish, it was only, and filled it with an inch of water and added a couple of trays of ice cubes so that the water was really cold. Then I took my hot um, liquid and I put the pan itself into the ice bath and stirred it until it was thick and coat the, coated the back of my spatula and stopped like bubbling. And so this is so that when we pour it into our mold, it doesn't melt the mold. So I poured it into a um, container with a spout and added a couple drops of vanilla extract so that it could be set flavored like vanilla. You can add whatever extract you'd like. Then I also made sure that it was orange because I'm going to be using these pumpkin molds that I found at Michael's and these are like pumpkin lollipop molds. So I just poured each one in and the first one, as you can see, it went like all over the place. So my suggestion is pour really slowly and go ahead and fill up each one. You kind of don't want it to spill everywhere, but you want it to fill it up to the top. Then I'm taking some lollipop sticks, which I also found at Michael's, and I'm just twisting them in so that the lollipop stick gets covered in the liquid and doesn't fall out when you're eating your lollipops. So I went ahead and did all of them, and then since I had liquid of my lollipops left over, I took this Halloween cookie tray that I found at Target, and I went ahead and sprayed it because I wasn't sure how easy it would come out, and I sprayed it with just some cooking spray. And then I took my liquid and I poured it into the cat's face, the candy corn, the pumpkin, and the ghost. Now, if you're gonna use like these cookie molds, which are really thick, I would suggest only filling it like a, a little tiny bit because they turned out really large and there was a lot of um, lollipop to eat. Then I put them in the fridge to set. So I just took mine out of the fridge and they've been setting for about half an hour and they're all nice and hard. They're not at all sticky or anything. So now I'm going to remove them from their molds. So it should be fairly easy. All you have to do is push at the bottom and basically pop your lollipop out. And so then, once you pop it out, you have your design. It's all nice and pretty and um, if you have things like this, where like if you don't like it, um, this candy should be really easy just to push them right out, just like this. And so now it looks like perfect pumpkins. I'm pleased at how this one turned out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take out the rest of them and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so I finished taking all of them out of their molds and I'm really pleased at how these guys turned out. They have like perfect detail of like with the mold head and everything. The lollipop sticks themselves are embedded. Now, as you can see, the larger ones using the cookie molds were really thick. I like the ghost better because it was thinner and the pumpkin was still thick. And so, to decorate, I'm gonna show you this really cute DIY jar, and this is how you can display it. So I'm gonna use this $1 twine that I got at Target and this half pint mason jar and also some scissors. So to begin, I'm just going to take some of the twine and just um, cut a piece out and it should be fairly long and then I uh, wrapped it around my jar and tied a bow just like this and then I just put my lollipops in and you have this really cute DIY jar. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like this video and like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to Zebracast. Bye!